Something always feels really positive to me whenever we have a moon placement in Leo. In this particular month, something surprising and positive is coming our way. So let's find out what it might be. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Leora Alexandra. Welcome to the B community. On this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development, and so much more. And I hope you can hear me. My voice, I'm, I'm talking a little soft right now because I truly feel like my puppy is a baby and he was just put down for a nap. So I'm hoping to get through this video before he wakes up, unless he wants to make an appearance, in which case he's a Sagittarius and he'd like the spotlight, just like his Leos, Leo brothers and sisters. And we're gonna let him have that, okay? I'm happy to share the spotlight, which is actually kind of a theme for this month as well. So, you know, a couple times a month, I like to do these energy readings, which are basically me tapping into the collective unconscious, collective consciousness, doing a psychic intuitive reading, but also backing it up with a little bit of astrology of what's happening, what's symbolized by where the moon is, where the sun is and what we can expect. And they've been very accurate for many people for a long time now. I think I've been doing this for not a year yet, but a good, a good amount of time and people have been liking them. So we're going to keep doing them because it's so fun for me. You've seen me, if you've watched my vlog, you see my process for it. So it's a really fun process for me personally. So yeah, today, as always, I'm gonna get right into the energy reading. I'm going to offer my themes towards the end and a few journal prompts as always. But before we get into the video, I just wanna give a quick shout out to myself, to me, because um, it's an Alchemy by LA sponsor today. And if you don't know, Alchemy by LA is my company. It's my jewelry line. Today, I'm wearing the yellow gold balancing amulet, the mini on a diamond paperclip chain. This chain is really long, so you can make this as long as you want. And that's just an additional accessory that we offer on the website. I really like this. I like to layer it with my original size one. So a big one and a shorter one and a different kind of chain. Thank you guys as always for allowing me to sponsor my own videos by supporting my company. It's really uh, such a pleasure to be able to do what I love and also to be supported by people who are investing in themselves and getting themselves, you know, treating themselves to a talisman, spiritual jewelry. So yeah, we make these talismans. They're amulets that are designed to enhance the wearer's intention and deflect negative energy. So this protects you from evil eye, evil intentions, um, from gossip. If, if somebody's talking about you, it protects you. And it uses what the Talmud cites as the code of creation, that the creator created all of reality using three letter Hebrew codes, different codes to create different things. So our amulets are made of high quality sterling silver and then dipped in a thick 18 karat gold in yellow gold, white gold or rose gold, whatever you like. They're super bright and shiny and beautiful. Ancient talismans were made of sterling silver. That's why we do it ourselves or solid gold because these metals are set to deflect negative energy and to enhance positive energy, the things that the wearer would want for itself. So if you know Harry Potter, it's kind of like the sword of Gryffindor, which absorbs the whatever makes it stronger and deflects anything that makes it weaker. We have several different amulets, depending on whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, more creativity, fertility, balance of your emotions and your energy, a soulmate, financial prosperity, healing of the mind, body and soul, and more. So go check that out. You can take the amulet quiz if you're not sure which one is good for you. And I wanna give you 10% off your entire order, even solid gold, that is an investment, which is my preference. Most of the time I'm wearing solid gold because I like to shower with it. I like to wear it wherever, whenever, never take it off. So use the code energy and you have that until the 18th at 11.59 p.m. I believe. Thank you for allowing me to sponsor my own videos. And now let's get into the Leo full moon energy reading. We have on February 16th, uh, 27 degrees of Leo. This is going to be at 8.56 a.m. in Los Angeles. You can look it up when it's going to be in your time, but you're gonna feel it from the 15th all the way up to the 17th. And as we already know, full moons every single 28 day cycle full moons are times of completion and times where things come into transparency where the light is shown on something that's happening in our lives so a couple days after the full moon even if there's confusion during the full moon we might experience uh some 
understanding and clarity thanks to the light of the moon. And though the full moon is always known to be a very emotional time, this particular one, because we're still in Aquarius season, Aquarius acts as almost like a soothing ointment to the lion. So we don't have to be as wary of overreacting and falling back into old patterns because we do have the Aquarius capability of stepping back and observing. So something might trigger you during this time, but you will have more of an ability to be graceful about it and to observe rather than to immediately react. So Leo is the heart energy. We know that it's all heart. And this just so happens to be a fantastic time for romantic union, for meeting some, somebody new romantically or for reigniting or, you know, finding the fire, the flame in a, an existing relationship. It just so happens to be right around Valentine's Day, which is awesome. I think this video is going up on Valentine's Day. Who would have thought? It's just perfect for that. This full moon to me feels very, very positive, not only because it is a time where we are kind of saying goodbye to things that no longer serve us. We are also really encouraged and promoted in socializing during this full moon. So being around friends, being around old friends, reconnecting with old friends, reconnecting with an old flame, or meeting somebody new, a new relationship is all very encouraged right now. So very sociable time. Usually around the full moon, I like to keep to myself because I'm so affected by the overtly emotional energy. I'm very emotional. But with this full moon, I myself feel safer to be around people and to connect to people because um, I'm aware of what's happening energetically and astrologically. And because I know that socializing is actually going to be encouraged during this time. So don't be afraid to socialize. There is just one thing to keep in mind when in a big group, you might feel that your individuality is slipping. You might feel like you need to comply and conform to the group hive mind. And I encourage you not to do that. Actually, if, if you do do that, what I feel might happen is you might feel like the odd one out. You might feel like you're not fitting in and you're trying so hard to. So what I encourage you to do during this time is to embrace your individuality, embrace your uniqueness. This Aquarius season is not over yet. Embrace what makes you different and, um, allow yourself to be that way. When you continue to let your freak flag fly and move out of overthinking about what people are going to think about you or about belonging, and if instead you just do your own thing, people are going to feel that. You're going to vibrate at a higher frequency and um, they're gonna see you enjoying yourself, enjoying your time with yourself and in the group and just being loving of yourself and, and uh, compassionate and accepting of yourself. You'll see that everybody's energy starts to flow towards you because Happy people are magnetic people. And when you allow yourself to be yourself, you allow other people to do the same. People don't really want to be in the group hive mind. So when there's that one person who's just like, you know what, I'm going to be fully myself. I'm going to thrive as who I am supposed to be, who I was put on this earth to be. People are going to love that and they're going to appreciate you and wanna be around you a lot more than if you were to conform to the group. This is a really positive and powerful time for meeting somebody new. You might meet somebody in a surprising way. It, it might be somebody that you weren't expecting and it could be a romantic situation or it could be a new friendship and a new friendship is very supported right now. Now, in regards to manifesting, I know that some people say that they shouldn't manifest on the full moon. I'm not sure if I've ever said that myself. I would like to see some credible information about why we shouldn't because I think we can manifest all the time with every moon cycle. Um, the only time I would maybe recommend not to is during an eclipse because things do tend to go a little bit awry during eclipses. But with this full moon, I really encourage manifesting and manifesting by focusing on matters of the heart. In what way do you want to feel more love in your life? In what way can you open up to more love in your life? What different types of love would you like to experience? And it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be the love of a new place, a new job, a new pet, a new friend, whatever it is. Or it could also be calling in the love of your life. This is really really encouraged right now. Just focus on the heart and what the heart wants and giving the heart what it wants. I also picked up on this one message that I feel like is going to come to us in a very visceral way or maybe a little bit more overtly through certain situations and that message is see life can be good life is still good you may have gone through some difficult things maybe this it was hard to get where you are right now but look how good uh life is you don't have to hold on to the old so hard you can let go now i want to get into the themes 
they kind of echo what I was just saying with the energy. So the first is love and friendship. Do things that open your heart to love and friendship. Go out, be social if it feels right to you or, you know, do something on Zoom, online, whatever feels good to you that you're going to kind of feel, fill that social need. Okay, Uh, do things that open the heart, such as sip cacao, play in nature, play in general, just do something fun and playful. Uh, Maybe play with a child or with a pet. I'm playing with my new puppy a lot. Smile at strangers, just not in a dark alleyway at night. Be open to love coming in to your life in a way that you never expected. The second theme is do not overthink. Just have fun and be joyfully yourself. Be like a curious child. Whatever situation you find yourself in, choose to be fully and compassionately you. This magnificent personality and soul and spirit that was put into this human temple to experience this human experience why would you want to be anybody else when there is some buried treasure deep inside of you just being you and becoming yourself and the last theme that i picked up on is transformation so full moons are associated with a, you know a completion of a transformative cycle you've been leveling up and perhaps you've been experiencing your transformation completely or maybe you're still going little by little but you are seeing the work that you've put into your mind body and soul and your personality and it's coming to fruition the fruits of your labor are ready to be picked they are juicy juicy fruit just remember that healing and transformation and the spiritual journey is not linear some days will be harder than others some days will be easier while others you know you're going to be floating through life just know that you're already there you've already made it but just don't stop now you've come so far dare to see how much farther you can go and as always appreciate how far you've come the more we appreciate the journey and where we've gone to got into the more we can receive more transformation right so a couple warnings as always i like to just keep you know just so you can keep this in mind if you're in a social setting or with a partner and maybe around valentine's day or closer to the full moon and you find yourself feeling triggered be very wary of miscommunication during this time take deep breaths before reacting and before lashing out of course you're going to have that aquarius energy that's going to cool you down a little bit cool down the fire but it could also go the opposite way and fan the flames if you don't if you keep yourself unchecked okay if you need to move around energy and who doesn't right uh go for a long walk scream somewhere where you can scream safely where you can express yourself practice breath work dance do a high intensity workout those are always good to move around energy and just express yourself in a wild and unique way in a creative way maybe um really getting creative during this time is a good outlet for all that intense energy if you're a creative person you're creative pursuits will be supported during this time so launch that project go for it start that new painting write that book do whatever it is that feels creative and beautiful to you maybe you're a jewelry designer maybe you knit things whatever it is and i'd like to know what it is that you do and what you're going to pursue during this time now let me just give you my journal prompts before my camera overheats so here are our journal prompts number one When was the last time I felt triggered or exposed by something? And what was it reflecting to me? What did I learn from this situation? And if nothing is obvious, then what can I learn? Finding a lesson from this, right? Number two, what emotions am I feeling right now? And where do I feel them in my body? Number three, what mindset do I need to cultivate in order to believe in myself this month? Number four, What do I want to believe about myself? So these are about manifesting, about getting a better positive mindset, and it's going to really set you up for the following lunar cycle. So that's it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already joined the community, leave a thumbs up. It really helps the video. It's a very easy, free way to support the channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know which part of this you liked. Let me know what videos you want to see more of. Um, Let me know you love Jupiter, the Maltese Terrier. Uh, What else? Oh, and if you want to support me further and invest in yourself, grab an amulet for 10% off with code energy. The link is in the description below. Thank you. I love you. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye.